Good morning traders, Richard here doing a quick point of figure chart review of the S&P 500 index. I've got the 15 by 3 point of figure chart up here. Now a solid downtrend in place based on the point and figure trend lines. We can see we've got these uh, significant resistance zones to the upside to deal with. And downside targets here is this bottom end trend line support. Now this line comes from this particular low here. These lows here of September 2020 is in October as well as November. So that uh, that's that trend line support zone. Now we've had numerous sell signals here, point of figure chart when the X changes to an O, those are all sell signals, and buy signals are when the O changes to an X. Also then uh, breakout sells is when the O drops below a certain uh, double bottom or double top uh, level to the downside. So the most recent sell signal was here when we had a reversal from 4395 down and that's currently where we are now. So let's just take a look at the point and figure chart targets. There's a nasty 3750, 10% uh, cor further correction from, from where we are now. And that's, uh, that's based on this particular move to the downside. But we do have various uh, support trend line support levels to get to before that. Now the shorter term trend, 4200, I think the futures met that already so we're very close to the 4200 target the uh, next target there is this one yeah the 3885 so there's a cluster of downside targets between 4080 which comes from that move to the downside and that's very close to the other low there the may low as well as trend line support and then 3885 and then 3750. But any kind of uh, reversal to the upside will signal the end to the current trend. So be aware that's quite dynamic, the point and figure charts. Whenever we get an X to the upside, that will change our outlook to bullish from bearish. But currently still bearish on the index. It's uh, met the 4200 target. I think it did meet it intraday. Now a 45 point reversal, a 15 by 3 reversal to the upside from this 4200 which it recently met intraday. The low I think yesterday was what 4199. Uh, that will signal the end of this current uh, downtrend and then we have a reversal to the upside and then the upside targets would be this uh, cluster of resistance there where the trend line is. But so far we do need to see that X being printed on the actual chart for the reversal to take place but so far Still 4080, downside targets 3885, provided we don't get a point and figure chart reversal to the upside. If we can jump into the 60 minute one, the 5 by 3, you <clears throat> can see a solid downtrend here on the 60 minute point and figure. Very long term trend lines here now. 4175, I think the futures took that one out. With the downside targets 4115 and then 4055, so watch out for that to the downside. If we get an upside reversal, uh, to the upside, uh, that will signal the end to the current trend. So 15-point reversal to the upside could bring us back up to the uh, trend line uh, resistance zones here. But so far, not a pretty picture on a point and figure chart basis for the S&P. So what we're looking for is a 45-point reversal to the upside soon after it met these uh, downside targets to signal the end to the current trend. But so far, still bearish on the... Um, point to figure chart basis but we are looking for that catalyst that reversal to the upside to signal the end to the current trend until next time happy point and figure chart trading bye for now